Welcome, Leo. This is your weekly focus for the week of July the 22nd. I'm Telly. This is Tara with Telly. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your support. We're going to turn right to the cards, Leo. And before I forget, happy birthday. We step into your birthday season. So you should be feeling dynamic. You should be feeling confident. You should be forward motion in your thoughts, maybe in your actions. Let's see what the cards reveal for us for this upcoming week. Our underlying energy is... Underlying energy is the hermit. So yeah, we're taking stock. We're looking at around... Uh, we're looking around at the here and now of what we have to work with. Maybe we are also looking a little bit in the past, but only to remind ourselves of just how great and wonderful we are the accomplishments we've had along the way, maybe over the last year, since it is a birthday time for you. And we are looking to see how we are going to go forward, what we are going to create, what we are going to invent, what we are going to step into, what kind of goals we want to set for ourselves. And a gray outline, a, a sketch of maybe how that will all come together over the following year. Okay, since it's birthday time, I'm going to do a year there for you. But it could be completely different. I held that card up and look at this. I didn't even have it set at the right thing. So there's the hermit. <laughs> I'm new at this. Oh my gosh. I've only been doing it for 10 years. You have to give, give me a little bit of a break. Oh goodness. Okay. Let's go on. If you're still with me, you didn't say, oh my gosh, what a hook this person is. The sun card. Yeah, it's about you. It's about your radiance. It's about your light. It's about how you shine. Okay. This is showcasing your unique self. This is showing people what you're made of, your skill set, your talents and embracing those talents and showing them to the world. Okay, this would be in the first place. It could be that you are entering a new leadership role of some kind. That could definitely be right here. Um, yourself, your unique self, who you are in the present moment. And maybe you're even looking, since it's more on the relationship side, when we get to the whole layout, it's more about... Well, not more about... It's about, it's about who you are as an individual, but also who you are within the relationships, what the relationship means to you. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, there could be something coming in to give you some kind of attaboy, some kind of, uh, you know, maybe it's a promotion. Maybe it is a raise in pay. Maybe it is a friend returning a favor to you. That could very well be, but there's also this balance within relationships. I can't disqualify that being part of the energy here because we still, well, this will attach to the relationship side, but also work. Okay. So it's not only you in the relationship, but it's you in life. Okay. How you gain stature, how you gain authority, how you lead people. And we have the Page of Swords. We could be a little spontaneous here. And I'm going to tell you, maybe that isn't the best idea. It is a, well, it's going into the new week, perhaps. It is a good thing. But this is when we have those aha moments and those epiphanies, but we act a little bit too rash on them. And they don't turn out exactly or even close to what we thought they were going to be in our minds because we didn't think it through. We didn't have the plan. We didn't have the strategy. So, yeah, it is a time to be brave. It is a time to do things that make you happy, but you have to give some forethought to it in order for it to strengthen you as as to strengthen you on your path going forward. Overriding this energy is the three of cups. It is a time of celebration, happiness, getting together with family, getting together with friends, enjoying each other, each other's company. There could be some kind of good news coming to in as well. Okay, because this is a reflection of your beauty, your essence, who you are as a person individually and in the relationship. Four of Wands as our underwriting energy. Did we not have this 
in our reading last week, the four of wands somehow in here. Now this is what holds this together. Okay. So it is your relationships. It's the commitments and the responsibilities and the obligations that you have formed with another person in the world. So definitely this is, it could be going in relationship, could be going in work as well in stature, but it, it's, what it does is your relationships actually support you in some way of being the individual. And if they don't, this is a time to win back your empowerment. Okay. Where you have given parts of yourself away. This is a time to bring it back in. Make sure that those relationships have a harmony, a beauty, a sense of flow to them, that there is a true give and take that you're both very supportive, very loving to each other, that you've got each other's backs. Okay. And whatever you do, I think that person is there to support you. It could be a dear friend. Absolutely. It could be a dear friend. It could be the person, uh, a spouse that, but they're a parent, perhaps somebody who is celebrating your uniqueness with you. So, you know, I almost get a sense that you might not recognize it. You not, might not take the time to say, wow, what a great friend you are. And this is a time to actually say, wow, I see what you did for me. And that was great and awesome. And I appreciate you in my life. As we start out the week, we have the King of Pentacles. Wow, you're not the only one to get that in the very first place. So we're talking a little bit about, well, we're talking about our abundance. Absolutely. Our prosperity. With these three cards all in a row now, this is our prosperity. Now, the King of Pentacles is one that, you know, he leans towards the tried and true. He leans towards traditional. He's very, you know, he, he researches a lot. He knows what he's saying yes to and what he's saying no to. And he doesn't dismiss anything without giving it some thought. So you're also walking in thinking, so you might be giving some thought to um, a career move, a relationship move, or what you're doing, you know, maybe you're going to the next level, maybe you're leveling up, maybe you are leaving, but I don't see leaving as much as the celebration. You're in the here and now, how do we go forward? Okay, creating the abundance, creating the prosperity, um, and it's all on you, your talents, your abilities, the walk that you've walked till now in order to possess these things. And now these things need to come to the table. These things, it, it's time definitely for you to step in the spotlight to show what you're made of. Maybe it is to show somebody so you can deepen the relationship. Maybe it's to show somebody so that you can get that promotion or that raise, or maybe they hire you and you start out in a fantastic pro profession that harmonizes with your talents, your abilities, your creativity, your inner expression. And this can be something that comes really out of the blue at you. You weren't even looking for a job, perhaps. Okay. And this opportunity could arise or you trip upon the most amazing opportunity ever. It's like it was written for you. As we leave the week, we have the lovers. So we are embracing, we are embracing moments of happiness, moments of joy, um, Maybe it is what we do, but it could be also a relationship. We are growing that love stronger and deeper. We are increasing that bond in some way, or we're leveling up. We're embracing a, a new opportunity for a promotion or doing something that allows our self-expression, our creativity to flow. Okay. Um, let's look at work and career. Work and career. We have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups being here, that's about seeing other people. So don't be ignoring people, especially in the workplace, especially the higher ups, but also somebody that might be, um, you know, on a ladder rung below you as well. Do not ignore people. If anything, I'm hearing, you know, you making statements about their efforts and what they do and what they bring to the table. Okay. And I think that's a very important key for your week in order for those doors to fly open for you by turning the spotlight, maybe off yourself a little bit and turning it on to somebody else. And just, then you could be doing that privately, just one-on-one. -on -one. You could be announcing something like, well, that was Joe's idea. I can't take credit for that. I might've done a lot of the legwork or I might've brought it all together at the end, but really, you know, it was him that did it all. 
or Joe, I can't believe you did that for me. You know, thanks so much. Most people would have just kept on going and there you were and you stopped for me. So I saw it. I appreciate it. It's those little things that are actually going to move you into, you know, and it's almost like a karmic kind of action here. The more that you can kind of make yourself more present to be in other people's lives and understand that you see them the more that something comes to you because of that, it brightens your world so much more than you brighten theirs. And that could lead to some wonderful opportunities. Absolutely. So make sure that you're seeing them, being fair with them. Do not ignore them. You know, walk away from any kind of dramas. If there's some kind of, uh, you know, gag going on, I, I would probably get away from that. I probably wouldn't get into something like that. I feel that could go really bad for you. It's all about the happiness, the joy, the celebration that you have with the people, with the people. Um, I, I really get the sense that it's more about people than what you're doing this week. It's more about what you're doing with people or in reference to people in your life. We have for love and relationships, the queen of cups. Well, no one's going to love you any more than you love yourself. So it's about self-awareness. It's about self-love. It's about knowing that you are great, that you rock this universe. Absolutely. Most Leos do. Uh, you know, your presence is just amazing. And the, the, the joy you bring to any moment is spectacular. So I love you, Leos. If you are looking for a relationship, this is somebody who is going to be very nurturing to you, very loving to you. Um, they celebrate you in some way. They want you to shine. They put you on that pedestal. And so you have to put them on the pedestal as well. Okay. Don't just take all the glory, you know, and, and bow to your humble servants, but, you know, know that you're equal with them. Okay. Okay. So, um, new relationships, it could be somebody like that. Um, if you're in a relationship right now, I think you're trying to weigh out the relationship. Do I need to be more present? Do they need to be more present? Maybe we're going to have some, uh, you know, heart to heart conversations over some of your reflections and what came out of your reflections, trying to understand that relationship better, trying to take it to new heights, trying to embrace it in a new way. Our final card is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is hanging on to something. Now, this could be your relationship with money. Because money is kind of strong. Although you're well represented here between actions and love. And so there is a beautiful balance. So maybe that what we're hanging on to, or what we're holding... I would have to almost say that in some ways you're kind of comfortable, okay? You're kind of comfortable because you're very strong in this card. But over here, we want to kind of stir the pot. We would kind of want that new energy to come in. But we're afraid of losing some things in our life in order to go forward or changing some things in our life in order to go forward. So I would have to say that as you leave this week or during this week, during this week is probably more prophetic than the end of this week is to take some bold steps, take some bold steps within your relationships, but more so take bold steps when it comes to growing your prosperity. Okay. Growing your relationship with money. Or maybe it's control. Maybe it's letting go of control. And, you know, many people, when they let go of control, they kind of feel like they're giving some of their power away. Did that thing that you left, that you want to leave the control of a, a commitment or an obligation or whatever it might be, where you let go of the control, you may fear that, wow, if I give that up, then what's next? And what will people think of me if I drop the ball, the ha the ball on that? And, you know, and you start to think that is going to reflect on you badly but in essence it opens you up to an opportunity where you have more time or vitality or maybe even resources to go forward in exactly the way you want until we meet again remember i do love you mm -hmm.